as safe as this young animal. One of the services that require a high security protection system is the transportation of valuable merchandise. And there's nothing more valuable than one's own genes. That's why many parents opt for transporting their children close to their bodies during their infancy. The differences in transportation techniques stem from the number of offspring that each species has and how much time each parent has to dedicate to this tiring job. Something that not all the little ones accept readily. Certain spiders have more than 500 descendants in only one generation. And they're able to transport all of them together on their stomach. But of course, only for a few days. In other families, the organization is somewhat more complicated. Walking in formation can be a very practical option. But there's another method of transportation and defense. A perfect method. The bad thing is, it's impossible to imitate. The system of these fishes is without a doubt the best example of transportation, care, and security services for young fish. The mate has chosen and defended a hiding place among the rocks in order to carry out its complex reproduction. The fertilized eggs have been stored in the male's mouth during the entire incubation period, which lasts 25 days. This forces him to undergo a long and forced fast. But at last the time has arrived. The babies have been born and the patient father knows that he can let them out. This is their first excursion in the outside world and is also a relief for everyone involved. The 153 small fish can finally move comfortably. The inside of their father's mouth must have looked like the metro in Tokyo during rush hour. But the adult is also very thankful. He's going to enjoy his first meal in a very long time. And now he can breathe deeply without fear of swallowing anyone. However, his task has only just begun. The young fish are also hungry, and they need to be fed and taught what to eat. This means stirring up the sandy bottom continuously in order to make the minuscule edible particles buried in the sand accessible to the little ones. From now on, the female will collaborate in raising the small fish and will alternate with her mate when they need to protect their babies between their cheeks. They'll only do this every once in a while, especially since their offspring are a delicious snack for other fishes that live in the surrounding area. A certain distance must be kept. It's interesting when a fight separates the parents too far from their children the children stick close to the riverbed in order to avoid being seen. Although it's an occasional defense mechanism, the security offered by the jaws of their mother or father is much better. Protect, feed, and teach. 
hour after hour, day after day, until the children become independent and leave home, with the luck of having sufficient defense mechanisms so that someday they can start the whole process all over again.